Hey guys, 0x00 here, long time no see for sure. After I've done that Xbox PC video, I kind of dipped for a while. I did got into live streaming and I made some live streams with my LG Netcast OS simulator progress and other tech things like that, but honestly I kind of missed making videos as well, so here we are with another amazing project. This time much harder, unironically. So what is this video about? Well, in this video, we are obviously gonna build a PS3 PC. For those who might be confused hearing both a PS3 and a PC in a sentence, don't worry, I'll explain it to you from A to Z. So basically, a PS3 PC is exactly what you hear, a PC inside a PS3 case. That's pretty much it, right? Well, people might ask, Zero, how the heck are you gonna fit a PC inside a PS3 though? Well, the answer is very simple. Just like I did with the Xbox, I'll basically just buy another mini PC. But it's pretty obvious that this is not gonna be the only thing I have to buy. I'll also need to buy a USB extension, actually two USB extensions for the front I.O. of the case, in this case a PS3 case. <laughs> Anyways, I'll also need an audio to microphone extension as well, and last but not least, some RGB USB strips so we can have some color and personality inside this boring looking PS3 case. With all of those things in mind, let's get straight into this project. As you guys know with the Xbox PC video, in case you did watch it, we'll need to disassemble this PS3 so we can remove all its parts and then use its case for this project. So with that, let the time lapse begin. Well, 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 I can't really proceed any further if the castle itself is dirty, so I guess that, despite not using its parts anymore, I'll still proceed further by clearing it, so I can continue disassembling it afterwards. Once again, let the time lapse begin. Well, now that the console is somewhat clean, we can finally continue further by disassembling the rest of the console. Well guys, before I continue disassembling the console any further, I just wanna say that this console bro, it was so rusty, like, yeah, that's pretty much why I just paid 10 euros on this console, AK50 run, I mean, the console was just all rusty, all things broken inside it, some capacitors leaking, it was a disaster, but at least I gave its case a new purpose, which is being a computer, I guess. Well, 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 it seems like the console is finally fully disassembled. Now the only things I'll have to do is cut those plastic standoffs which were there for its original motherboard, which I did off camera unfortunately, and then we can proceed further by disassembling the mini PC itself as well. Well guys, I unfortunately had to switch to my other phone to record this sequence of this video, aka the iPhone X, aka the iPhone 10, because my Samsung Axis Z Flip 5 decided to run out of battery, 
so I really hope that this quality won't bother you too much for now. It's 1080p after all, so it shouldn't be that bad, right? Well guys, now that the mini PC is also fully disassembled, let's see whether the mini PC motherboard is going to fit well or if it's not going to fit well. Hopefully it is going to fit just fine. Well, it does seem to be ok in the PS3 case. I guess we can proceed further by cutting the back IO shield of the PS3 and then trying to somewhat install the mini PC motherboard inside the PS3 case. Well, I unfortunately forgot to show the process of installing the motherboard into the PS3 PC, nor it was too important since all I did was just putting the motherboard inside the case. As you can see, I did the card behind the PS3 case where it used to be the old I.O. and as you guys can see, the mini PC inside the PS3 case is still functional. Woohoo! Yeah, that was kinda cringe, lol. <laughs> Anyways. Since I want to do this permanently, I'll have to send the PS3 PC to a 3D printing guy who can help me by designing a special stand for the motherboard to sit still inside the PS3. I guess I'll be back with the final result. Well guys, this is pretty much it. As you guys can see, I got a 3D printed stand for the motherboard done by the 3D printing guy. Huge shout out to him by the way. And this is the pre-final result since I now have to install the RGB USB strips inside the PS3 PC as well. And there we go. This is the final result of the PS3 PC with the RGB USB strips as well. Now let's test it. Well, thank you guys for watching this video, it really took a really long time to edit it, I also tried to do some type of animation at the beginning to make it as entertaining as possible, I also promise that I'll try my best to make as much content as possible, I kinda wished I could do custom pieces all the time, but unfortunately, making such projects aka custom pieces takes not only a lot of time, but also a lot of money. But occasionally, I'll try to make similar things in the future. But obviously, I'll try from now on to focus more on AB vs Marvel content as you guys know that I usually make on this channel. My name was 0 0 0 and I'll see you guys with more videos in the future. Have a great day or a great night and see you guys next time. Bye bye!